on Double X News, brought to you by your East Bay New Worlds, where you can collect double flybys points until September 16. From IRN at 11 o'clock, I'm Mike Francis. The Pentagon says explosions reported around the Afghanistan capital Kabul are not part of any U.S. strike in retaliation for this morning's terror attacks in New York and Washington. Detonations were heard throughout Kabul about an hour ago, leading to speculation that the U.S. was targeting the terrorist network of Islamic extremists, Osama bin Laden. However, an official at the Pentagon says the U.S. is not behind the attack, which could be the work of opponents of Afghanistan's hardline Taliban regime. There's no word yet on the death toll from this morning's aircraft hijackings which saw four passenger jets taken over by suicide bombers. Two of the craft were flown into the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center in New York. That caused both the towers to collapse and a short time ago a third building in the complex went down. Financier Brabu Velji was on the 86th floor of the World Trade Center when the first plane struck the 100 and 101st floors and exploded. He says people were hurled from the windows or jumped to escape the flames. And soon as I came down out of the building and I see all the bodies are lying down one after another. You cannot recognize them because they all jumped from the 101 story. Prabhu Velji says about 10 minutes later the second plane struck and around half an hour later the whole building collapsed on top of the rescue workers who'd rushed inside. A third plane crashed into the Pentagon while the fourth went down in Pennsylvania. The speculation that jet was shot down by U.S. fighters and that it was being targeted at the U.S. presidential retreat at Camp David in neighboring Maryland. A short time ago America's top military officer made a statement at the Pentagon. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Hugh Shelton, says his heart goes out to those touched by the tragedy. Today we have watched the tragedy of an outrageous act of barbaric terrorism carried out by fanatics against both civilians and military people. Acts that have killed and maimed many innocent and decent citizens of our country. In this country, security has been tightened at the American Embassy in Wellington. A statement is expected from an embassy official at any time. The New Zealand share market has plunged in response to today's terror attacks in the United States. Less than half an hour after opening, the SE40 capital index was down more than 5%. A short time ago, it was down 113 points at 1,852. Air New Zealand A shares are down 13 cents to 58 cents, while Telecom is 25 cents down at $4.40. Trading on the stock exchange was delayed for an hour, with the exchange saying it wanted to give market participants time to absorb the impact of this morning's attacks. An 0800 number has been set up in this country for people wanting information on friends and relatives in New York. That number is 0800-USA-111 or 0800-872-111. One of the hijacked planes was a feeder flight for Air New Zealand. It had the share code number of 9051. But Foreign Minister Phil Goff says they've established there were no passengers on that flight with Air New Zealand tickets. This is IRN News.